Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Five years ago, I posted a video to this channel about my rocking shovel prop. And while it definitely is a fan favorite to the people that visit our cemetery, it wasn't exactly how I imagined it would be. So five years later and many weekly videos in, I thought now's as good a time as any to revisit it and maybe see if we could make it more like I had imagined it would be in the beginning. So let's get to it. The first thing you'll notice from this old video is that it's moving pretty slowly and that the motor's struggling to pull it back from its furthest position since it's just a small synchronous or reindeer motor. Also, because of how underpowered it was, I wasn't able to hang the lantern off the shovel handle as I'd originally imagined this would work and instead ended up having to rest it on the tree stump, which is fine, but it's not what I'd hoped for. As we get closer, you can see that the push rod is connected to the shovel with a really bulky bracket that I'd made. And if you were looking from the side, you'd absolutely be able to see it. And that's no good. The door hinge on the bottom is still a great solution for the pivot point, so I won't have to worry about that. All in all, there's definitely some areas where this can be improved, so let's improve it. As you can see here, the motion is much more smooth. The shovel mount is much smaller, and most importantly, the lantern is hanging from the shovel handle. But let's take a closer look at how this is different from my first version. To start off, I swapped out the underpowered motor for a windshield wiper motor. This motor has a lot more torque and can handle the weight of the shovel and the lantern without any signs of struggle. It's mounted to a small platform using a Simpson tie that I got from the fencing department of my local hardware store. The mechanism is mostly the same as the original, with a 3-inch piece of flat stock aluminum connected to the motor and an 8-inch threaded rod with female heim joints, sometimes called rod end bearings, on either end connecting the aluminum bar and motor to the shovel. The heim joint allows for two misaligned objects to move smoothly without binding. I chose to use them because they're really forgiving when trying to move objects that may be slightly out of alignment from one another. You'll also notice that I changed how the shovel connects to the motor. This is just a piece of half inch flat stock aluminum that I've bent at a 90 degree angle and then twisted one end to align with the rod. It's a more low profile method that's harder to see. A new addition to this prop is the use of a motor speed control. This allows me a way to really dial in the speed of the motor, which is really important with wiper motors since they run at much faster RPMs than you'd want for most prop applications. The final new addition is the handle mounted lantern. The lantern is wired to a standard light socket and its cord is held in place along the backside of the handle and lantern with a bit of hot glue and floral wire so that it disappears under haunt lighting. As you can see, having the lantern hung over the shovel handle provides a greater overall movement that's more eye-catching, especially since this prop randomly turns on and off via Arduino. This is a relatively easy way to have a moving light source that will really draw the attention of your visitors and give your display a much more dynamic look. Well, it only took about five years and just a few dollars more, but this is definitely more of what I had in mind when I built this prop all those years ago. It also helps to tell a deeper story of our cemetery about a grave digger whose spirit haunts the property long after his death. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And most importantly, go make something.